Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the Caribbean. It is Sunday evening, March 19, 2023. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the weather has been like in your area recently. Also feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific area. I respond to all comments and I really live for this stuff. Alright, so let us take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening. We can see that we have a high pressure ridge right there to the north of the Caribbean and the main development region that's sending a lot of easterly trade winds across the Atlantic into the Caribbean. And we can also see that we have a cold front right there across the portion of the Bahamas, Cuba, the northwestern tip of Cuba that is, and the western Caribbean right there. If we actually take a look at the visible satellite images before the sun went down, we can see those low level patches of clouds moving from east to west in that easterly flow all courtesy of that high pressure ridge. We can also see that we have those clouds right there across portions of Florida, the Bahamas, Cuba, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala. That's bringing a lot of overcast skies and showers associated with that cold front. We'll be talking more about the weather across the Caribbean later on. Let's focus our attention on the prediction that was made for today's weather yesterday. It was stated that we would have received some amount of rainfall across sections of some southern and eastern parishes last night into early this morning. And that we would, have, we would have received some rainfall across portions of northern Jamaica during the afternoon. What ended up happening? A post was made at 5.20 a.m. this morning highlighting the fact that we've been still receiving some amount of rainfall across southern parishes and even eastern parishes as well. And we had some confirmation on our Twitter page in the comments. Cardi D stating it rained intermittently in Portmore. Even on our Instagram page we had commenters confirming the rainfall. Portmore been getting some much needed rain by Bar Tab. Caroline stating raining from last night in Maypen and I'm enjoying every bit of it. God Uni Creation stating Portmore is getting the needed rain. Moving on to Alia. Alia stating as it did on Friday night same time around 12 a.m. right now until morning. Sunny again now. Same pattern as yesterday. Robinson stating Old Harbor Road have the cold rain overload water over concrete and board. Sophia Fine stating it's raining. Luton stating rain a ramp rough as St. Thomas all night into this morning. Sash stating bog walk from last night. Guess it's raining there as well. Chris stating rain just wash out the little party at Linstead, but thank God same way. Nav stating need some rain in Green Island, Hanover. It hot here. Queen Stutch stating raining from last night into this morning in Mandeville. Israel Smichael stating rain all night in mandeville it's cloudy now then another post was made at 1 56 pm this afternoon highlighting some amount of clouds bringing overcast skies and isolated showers to sections of mainly northern parishes so saint mary saint anne trelawney saint james hanover gotten on some of those overcast skies and rainfall and we had some of our commenters confirming that rainfall one person stating been raining since after 12. J Ann stating getting rain in Mobe. Moving on to our Instagram page with the comments. Light to moderate showers in Mobe on and off. Pure rain in Hanover. And that's it for the comments. If you actually take a look at the visible satellite images before the sun went down, we can see that we had more of an east southeasterly flow across the island for today. And just like yesterday's prediction and yesterday's weather, we had that buildup of clouds in the afternoon, especially across portions of northern Jamaica, bringing some amount of rainfall to those spots before the sun went down, even in the evening hours. We still had some isolated showers in those spots. And if we actually take a look at the latest Doppler radar images, we can see all of that rainfall that came off the coast of Hanover and St. James right there. Lots of yellows and reds that signal strong to severe rainfall as well embedded in there. If you actually take a look at the Caribbean Institute for Meteorology and Hydrology's accumulated precipitation for the past 24 hours, 
we can see that the map makes perfect sense considering that yes we had some amount of rainfall across southern jamaica in the morning then during the afternoon it was across portions of northern jamaica taking a look at the temperatures for tonight we can see that we have 23 degrees celsius in montego bay 24 degrees celsius in kingston and you can pause this video right now to see what the temperatures are like in your specific area if you actually take a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow 18 z on monday is actually 1 pm on monday and we can see that jamaica for the most part is in some slightly above normal temperatures at least one degree celsius above normal and what are the average temperatures for the month of march about 87 degrees fahrenheit and if you actually take a look at the thermometer and convert that that's about 30 degrees celsius so we should be getting 30 to 31 degrees celsius at most for tomorrow in the low 30s that's the temperatures that we'll be getting across the island moving on let's take a look at the saharan dust forecast for tomorrow we can see that by 2 p.m on monday lots of saran dust right there across portions of the main development region jamaica is in the clear let's take a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow jamaica is still surrounded by a lot of blues that represent 1.5 meter wave heights or less and we can see that on both the euro and the gfs models and that's due to the fact that we'll be receiving 10 to 20 knot wind so if we were getting more um, much stronger winds up into the 25 to 30 knots that's when we would have some higher wave heights but we're getting 10 to 20 knot winds that's not bad and the winds are coming in from the east and where does all of that wind pile up we see the wind piling up in the blues that's where we have the least amount of winds across the island you can see it piling up across portions of some central and western parishes in the afternoon and that's usually when we'd have that buildup of clouds and then that afternoon convection takes shape and if you actually take a look at the wind shear forecast for 1 pm on monday by both the euro and the gfs the wind shear in the upper levels of the atmosphere are coming in more from the southwest so the upper level support is there especially for northern parishes again to receive more afternoon convection so areas like St. Anne, Trelawney, St. James, Hanover will definitely get in on some of that afternoon convection for tomorrow as the wind shear coming in from the southwest will push off whatever high level clouds or upper level clouds that they might get in the upper levels of the atmosphere push it all the way up to the northeast and affect those spots with overcast skies and rainfall. So we'll see what happens with that. If we actually take a look at the precipitation forecast for tomorrow from now um, up until daytime there won't be much rainfall across the island it's around 2 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 1 p.m jamaica time that we actually see some blues that represent rainfall across sections of the island coming into play we see it across sections of eastern parishes maybe st thomas and portland and we also see it across portions of central and western jamaica especially across northern jamaica that's where we would have the bias or the upper level support just like what we saw on the wind shear map that's 1 pm on the euro look at 1 pm on the gfs something very similar eastern parishes central and western parishes especially northern parishes moving ahead two hours later the 4 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 3 p.m jamaica time we can see the blues still representing the rainfall across portions of eastern central western jamaica on the euro model the gfs model showing more of the rainfall across portions of central and western jamaica during that time 3 p.m so there's definitely some amount of afternoon rainfall that will be received across portions of jamaica for tomorrow so those persons living in central and western parishes if you don't know what those are let's go back to the map central and western parishes so st catherine clarendon manchester st mary st anne western parishes trelawney st elizabeth westmoreland st james hanover that's where we might get in on some of that rainfall especially across the northern parishes right there so especially st anne trelawney st james and hanover so we'll see exactly what happened with that either way the accumulated precipitation from the euro and the gfs are showing that we have consensus of the rainfall especially on the north coast 
not going to be getting up to an inch of rainfall both models are showing less than an inch most likely up to 0 0.75 of an inch of rainfall at most either way both maps are showing rainfall and we know that when we have consensus like this chances of it actually happening are much higher and considering that we've been getting so much rainfall for the past couple of days it is quite a good thing considering that march is one of the driest months of the year we usually receive 87 millimeters of rainfall for the entire year so we are indeed blessed to have been receiving so much rainfall this year all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let's talk some more about the weather across the caribbean so as we can see we can see some clouds moving from east to west across portions of the leeward islands right there so sections of anguilla antigua and barbuda maybe even saint bars getting in on some amount of um, overcast skies and isolated showers you can also see some clouds right there across portions of guadeloupe portions of anguilla saint martin about to push its way into portions of the u.s and british virgin islands and then eventually puerto rico we can see a lot of clouds right there to the south of puerto rico as well if we actually take a look at trinidad as well we can see some low level patches of clouds moving across those areas tobago as well we can see some clouds across portions of colombia sections of mexico belize guatemala honduras associated with that cold front lots of clouds across portions of the gulf of mexico southern florida the bahamas as well as portions of cuba associated with that cold front and they are to be receiving more rainfall tonight into tomorrow if we actually take a look at the doppler radar images for today across portion of the leeward island we can see a lot of greens and darker greens and yellows that represent moderate to heavy rainfall across those very spots that were just mentioned so guadeloupe antigua barbuda monsterrat saint kitts and nevis anguilla you can see a lot of rainfall still pushing from east to west across those spots so more rainfall to be received even into tonight you can also see some rainfall across portion of northern puerto rico as well if we actually take a look at the barbados radar we can see the confirmation from the satellite images showing that we have some rainfall across portions of saint vincent portions of grenada tobago and trinidad just like what we saw in the satellite images as well moving on to the wider view of doppler radar images we can see that we have some amount of rainfall right there passing to the north of the abc islands rainfall right there across portion of colombia lots of rainfall across portion of belize mexico guatemala as well as cuba associated with that cold front and we might even have some isolated flash flooding taking place in those spots where the cold front is affecting let's talk temperature forecast for tomorrow we can see that both the euro and the gfs are showing that for 1 pm tomorrow we should be receiving some below average temperatures across majority of the eastern caribbean portion of the southern caribbean as well not to mention the gulf of mexico and the southern and eastern united states so portions of mexico belize guatemala honduras and it makes sense considering that there's a cold front right there affecting those spots the above normal temperatures seem to be right there across portions of the bahamas cuba the turks and caicos portions of haiti and the dominican republic right there let's talk saharan dust forecast for tomorrow we can see that we have some slight browns right there across portion of the leeward islands that's indicative of some amount of hazy skies but it won't be that robust remember the most dust is represented by those darker browns and we can see that right there off the coast of africa as well as on the landmass of africa let's take a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow by 12 p.m on monday we can see some purpose that's indicative of at least two meter wave heights and that surrounding areas where we have the strongest wind so around mexico yucatan peninsula more than likely the waters off to the east of the caribbean right there and that's due to the 25 knot wind that we'll be receiving across those spots for tomorrow because looking on the euro and the gfs we can see those yellows across those spots around mexico and the yucatan peninsula that indicate those 25 knot winds and we can even see some slight 25 knot winds embedded in there across portion of the waters to the east of the caribbean right there so we should be receiving an easterly flow of winds across majority of the caribbean tomorrow more of a northeasterly flow of winds across portions of cuba belize 
and the Mexico associated with that cold front. If we actually take a look at the rain forecast, these maps are showing all the rainfall that's expected to spread out from now up until 10 p.m. on a Monday. So we can see up to 0.5 of an inch of rainfall across portions of the Leeward Islands. We can see some rainfall right there to the south of Hispaniola right there. And we see that on both the Euro and the GFS, even up to an inch of rainfall being shown across the water to the south of Hispaniola on the Euro. The GFS is not that robust. But where do we have the rainfall on land? You can see across the Bahamas up to an inch of rainfall, Cuba up to an inch of rainfall, portions of the Western Caribbean up to an inch of rainfall. Moving off to the south, we can see that Trinidad and Tobago should be getting up to, let's say, 0.3 of an inch of rainfall at most. We can see that on both the Euro and the GFS models. We can see some rainfall right there across portions of the northeastern coast of Venezuela. Guyana getting in on some of that rainfall as well. Colombia, Panama as usual. And moving on to the western section of the basin, we can see even up to some 3 inches of rainfall could be expected across portions of Mexico, Belize, Honduras as indicated by those purples right there. So they will definitely be getting in on some flood rainfalls, especially considering that we see so much reds that indicate at least 1 inch of rainfall. So Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Belize should be getting in on a lot of rainfall. And when we look at the GFS, we see something similar on both maps and we know that when we have consensus like this the chances of it actually happening are much higher all right so that's it for today thanks for watching